everybody. It's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. And I just got my Coco Daisy uh, Weeks subscription kit. And um, it is the sticker kit. I didn't get any extras this month uh, just because I, I forgot about it and didn't go back in and order it. But that's okay. I'll order it the next one. Um, but I also brought out my Weeks so that I can kind of show you how I use the sticker kit in my weeks. So we go ahead. I already opened the thing of it up. Um, oh, something else in there. All right. So this month, it this is uh, March's, and it is Treetop Canopy. And I'm thrilled to have another collection created using exclusive art from Linu's Pots. This month's collection centers around an adorable sloth and a few of his rainforest friends. With bright and cheerful color... Ugh, I can't even talk. With bright and cheerful spring colors, it's a perfect blend of whimsy and inspiration. The underlying theme is one of self-reflection and relaxation, both of which I hope you find time to do this month. If you have a moment, I encourage you to look up sloths as they are very interesting creatures. Christine. And I love this artist. Uh the little squirrel that they have created reminds me so much of tear oh my goodness the different um facial expressions and everything i just love it so this is a sticker kit let's go ahead and get into that put that off to the side um so this is these are date covers for the weeks and i'll show you let me go ahead and open this up. This is my camp weeks, my Hobonichi uh, camp weeks, and I love it. It is so much fun to use. And um, I mean, this is actually some more of uh, their artwork, which I think is amazing. But let me find a week where it's pretty full. Let me pull one of my clips here. That way it kind of stays open. Okay, I'll pull that out. All right, so these uh, date covers actually would cover where the, the number and the Tuesday and the moon and all of that is. You actually put those, it'll fit right in that section. So um, here, I'll show you. Let me use my handy dandy tweezers so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So those would actually fit right there. I'm going to put that back since I don't actually use the date covers. I don't use these just because it, um, well, since that one has come off, let me go back to a date that I didn't actually use. And I will put that here so you guys can kind of see. So that's how the date covers would actually work. But I don't really use these because I like the way this looks and I like to have the, uh, the moon phases, even though they're usually a day early because these are Japan times and there's most of the time the day, the moon phase is the previous day for here in the U S. So there is that. Uh, and then on the sheet also, you've got the weekend covers, which you could put, it would cover both the Saturday and Sunday there. Um, you can do that. You can put it on this side. These are all made to fit here in the, in the sections. And so they're sized specifically for the weeks, but you don't have to use them in the weeks. You could use them in any of your planners uh, just so it would actually cover the date. I know that I used these a lot in the um, Coco Daisy. Let's see, I think I've got one here. Uh, the Dories, this is the standard Dory. And I would use these, you know, in various places there. This is from the January kit, by the way. So then you have menu plans, groceries, and just little things down here that you can use at any point anywhere. And again, I use these in all of my planners. So it's not just for my weeks. All right, next we have, these are the the bottom and top uh, stickers. And these are sized, um, you can see here, they're the 
larger size stickers there. And these are made to go down here. So they're sized to fit across here. And I'll show you where I have a couple. Like I used this one in January. Uh, where else have I used? And I used the other one that was opposite of that here. I don't, a lot of times I don't put both of them in just because that's a lot of stickers. And by the time I get to December, uh, I realized that it was so thick with stickers that like when I was writing on Sunday, it was like kind of going through because the stickers were stacked up. And so I always had to make sure I had my shiitake or pencil board underneath what I was writing, just so it made sure that I was not going through the paper, but at times I just forgot that. So these work um, in tandem together, so they're designed to go together. However, you don't have to do that. You can put them different, they're all the same color scheme, and so a lot of times I'll just mix them up. So like here, there'll be sunshine after the rain. Hello, March. Um, you could use this one with be kind um, in a world where you can be anything. You know, it's it's designed to be be kind, but you don't have to, to do that. You can, I mean, they all kind of go together so you can change them up. The one thing that I didn't want to be forced into was that every week would look like everybody else's week. And I don't use um, them every week. And so I have some left over from, you know, years past. Um, because I've been doing this kit since she started it. And so I'll pull different ones that I just think are cool. And they may not even be for that month or even that year. So, um, and then these here at the top, uh, these are a smaller uh, width. And those are designed to go up here. Now, back when she first started this, she would have like March 2021, and then she'd have like week four or week eight or whatever week it was here on this side. And so you were kind of forced to use that even more so than, you know, just having them mar March and the year. So I didn't use a lot of those back in the day because I was like, I, I don't want to use that for that particular week on that particular month. So I'm glad she at least stopped using the uh, March or putting in the weeks. So you can put that in there if you want. I mean, then this is the a habit tracker. You can put one habit there and you can mark through those. And those will fit at the top as well. They're designed to fit at this top section, but you can put it anywhere you want. I know, let's see, where did I, like this is one uh, that I used both sides to it just because I wanted to do that. And then um, where is one that I put, ah, I put the tracker down here at the bottom because I had already written up here at the top, but I used the February 2021 uh, sticker at the top there and then this was a different one it doesn't have the hearts but it's the same color scheme and then start where you are use what you have do what you can I love that saying it's one of my favorite quotes by Arthur Ashe and I was struggling this week and so I wanted to kind of have a fresh start so that's where I use those and again as I said you can mix and match even those because um, like the, she has it where these two, these all across work, but like this one would work with that. This would work with, I mean, they all work together. So you can change them out, interchange them, use them in a different month. I mean, obviously the March ones you would want to use in March, or you could just cut that off and just use the blank sticker there. It's up to you. However you want to use them is how you use them. Uh, you know, Hobonichi always says this is your life book and it's your life. So use it however you want to do it. All right. Next up we have, these are the two sticker sheets that you get, or this is what's left. I should say, um, 
And this, these are to-dos today, and then you've got one this week, and then you've got little arrows. And these stickers um, usually change, you know, just depending on the mood, but I love all of this artwork. And this is the little guy that I think looks like Tear. So cute. But um, these are regular stickers, so they've got a white background. The stickers here are washi stickers, so they've got a clear background. So you've got two different options, and then you've got little washi strips. And these strips are the size of those lines. Let me show you a blank here. So you could use the little strips here or up here at the top or at the bottom, however you want to use it. But um, they are the smaller strips. You've got little strips here. You can see that. And then you've got a little bit wider strip. If I can pick it up there. And then, uh, you know, hair appointment, doctor's appointment, celebrate, birthday, takeout, payday, girls' night. You've got different appointments. You've got to buy next week, lunch date, trackers, bill pay, and then meetings. And those fit anywhere you want to fit them. Uh, these numbers actually work. Where did I put that sticker? In... Dun, dun, dun. Well, if I can figure out what I did, there we go. So those numbers, here I'll use the 31st, because I usually don't use these, but those numbers work here. Well, if I was a little bit better at putting stickers down, but you can tell, um, the number fits right in there, and so it's got a square. I again, I kind of screwed it up just a little bit, but oh well, it was more to just show you that that the, those work in that little section. They're designed, they're squares, and so they're designed to fit that little square right there. So there you have those, and then you have the uh, the three boxes. Um, and the heart checklists and the quarter boxes. And then these are this week. Now these boxes will fit, they're the same size as this. So you can use them over here. You can also, for those of you who have used Kobanichi before, this is the invisible line that um, it's just a more bold line that you have. And those boxes also fit, take this one off. Um, there. I don't want to put that down, but they fit there. They also fit there. They also fit here. Um, you see the invisible line coming through from the previous page, but a lot of people will, will mark that off and put that in there. But it's also that little, little hash mark there. It's exactly that width. Ah. So let me see if I can get this one back down. because I do use those. Um, and then these little uh, heart checklists will also fit this section here. Um, they also fit the width of the uh, grid there. They don't actually exactly line up. So you ha this would go down one, two, three, four, five, six six grid squares, but you only have four hearts. So it's not, that one is not an exact science, but it does fit um, right here with the um, checklist or the, I'm sorry, date covers. So you could use that there and write those in however you wanted to do that. But that is the week sticker kit. Oh, one other thing that I was going to tell you. I think, uh, where, what did the other sheet go? Oh, I was like, where did I put it? I know there's another one there. 
Um, so this one has these little Monday through uh, Sunday stickers. And for a long time, I did not use those because I just wrote that in. But since I've been taking my blood pressure and tracking it twice a day, um, at 7.30 in the morning and 10.30 at night, I will go in and uh, you'll notice here, I will put one of those across and then I will just draw beneath it and I will put in my morning and evening checks. And so if it's got a black check, that means my blood pressure was under 120 over 80. If it's red, it was over 120 over 80. And if it's got an X, it means I didn't do it that night. Most of the time, I usually don't do it at night um, because I'm sleepy and I want to go to bed. <laughs> but I will take one of those stickers and those stickers fit, you can see it there, um, the grid. So they're the same width as the grid, which I love. So you can do it um, if you wanted to put it here, however you wanted to make that fit but they do fit the grid line. So that's how I use my uh, Coco Daisy sticker kit, uh, my Weeks sticker kit. And this one is for March. So it's Treetop Canopy. And I will go ahead and link down below uh, the Coco Daisy website. And it's, I believe, I get it um, monthly and it's like $16.50 for the uh, kit. And um, it keeps my subscription active, which um, I love. And hello, Tear, um, destructor of all. I don't know if you can actually see him, but he's, um, yeah, there he is. Anyway, he likes to come up and visit. Anyway, but it's sixteen fifty for the subscription and oh, floof tail. And um, this is the sticker kit that I use the most. Uh, I also use the one that has the water tracker um, on the bottom, but I usually buy that separately now. Um, when I went in and canceled all of my subscriptions for the, for this year because I wanted to use what I have, this is the one sticker kit that I decided that I wanted to keep because I really do use it quite a bit. So there you have it, my uh, March Coco Daisy sticker kit for my weeks, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.